Hey guys, back at Lodry today. You guys have already seen these trails a hundred times. I've shown them in all these videos that are on the screen now. It's probably one of my favorite places to ride. But you guys have already seen it. You guys probably want something new. You've probably seen that video about two months ago at Sun Peaks where I crashed my bike and kind of broke my full face. It's rolling right here on the screen. It was pretty bad. So I had to replace that with a new one. So weighed my options and since I work at a bike shop that carries IXS, I got a sweet deal on the IXS trigger. It's probably one of the most lightweight, excluding carbon full faces. Those are just in a different league. Under $300, this thing is a beast. Has kind of this traction for your um, goggles that hold it on tight. It's so lightweight, I could climb up this hill just wearing it and didn't really have an issue. You've probably seen in my videos that I'm not a great climber. I kind of suck at it. Riding is just about the descent for me. This full face has the tightening in the back. I do have one small issue with it. Since it cradles your head so well and kind of holds you back here, you actually have to loosen it and tighten it every single time you take it on or off. It's kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, you got the e-bike. So I went with the black and gray look on this one. It also has these different colors on the screen now. I really like the red and the ocean color. It's kind of sick. Um, we just didn't have them in my size. So I went for the black, kind of goes with any bike or any kind of kit. So kind of want to stop talking now and go riding. Just going to drop into Junkyard Zombie. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, dropping it in Junkyard. Kind of made the entrance a little sketch. The new drainage. I'm not sure if it's drainage or it's just worn out. Kind of a bit of both, I'm guessing. Oh god. I'm in way too low of a gear. Whew. I haven't ridden the ledge in a while. So. I've been lucky not to have a crash yet in this full face. Kind of trying to avoid that. <laughs> so, can't really test how safe it is, but for the fact that people ride Enduros on this one and World Cups, I would definitely trust it. Ooh, perfect manual. Well, that was an awkward jump. Oh god, that's a way to go OTB. Hey, this is where Kelvin and I were planning on building the trail, but never did. Oh god, what is going on with this run? It's definitely been ridden this winter. Like I was saying, super breathable, super lightweight. Ugh. And you can even drink things through it. Since a lot of them have like that mesh right in front of the face. I'm not a big fan of that. I like having the little open feeling. Can you drink out of a straw? Which doesn't seem like a huge benefit, but I'm a fan. Uh, I've only been riding like once a week, snowboarding once a week since I've gone full time now at my job at the shop. But every week, well, last week I gave you guys a hint on where I was moving so this week's hint was what well, will be that I have made at least one video from there last week's video was has bigger mountains this week I've made a video there not saying on which bike maybe that's for next week but I was a very big fan of the place. Oh. 
What's this? Oh, shiitake mushroom. This is the one that has gap jumps so that you can't ride around. That was a fun little section right there. Whew. Oh. Man, I already hit the bottom. Really excited. To go for like a, a full shuttle day or downhill park day with the new full face. I think that'll test it a little bit better on how breathable it is. But for climbing and descending, super lightweight, super breathable, super awesome. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.